welcome back welcome back to another episode of a pokemon what of our pokemon what i am i just went into full-on pokemon recording mode and not hgv talks mode wow wow i suck at this uh welcome back to another episode of hgv talks where i sit here and i talk about random stuff and um that threw me off completely but i'm gonna do my you know quick little quick little uh week recap type thing go chiefs we are going to the super bowl um i think in the last episode was before the game and uh yeah went really good i am excited for the chiefs to go to the super bowl obviously um but i'm also not a greedy fan and i'm super blessed to see the chiefs do as well as they have so i'm just happy they're there if they win, it'll be awesome. If not, so be it. I did put $20 on the 49ers to win because my bets of who will win a game are always wrong. So I'm going to see how that goes. But I don't really want to spend too much time talking about football today. Um, I think it was I think it was in last week's episode. I was talking about wanting to do draft league and competitive Pokemon. And I'm for once, I'm finally working on it finally doing it so i'm actually gonna build teams and do some pokemon showdown and try to get like some singles experience like that and i'm also going to play pokemon scarlet i'm gonna catch the pokemon i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do some of this first play some of the showdown i'm trying to fill up my pokedex on scarlet so i can you know build teams that i want to build if i you know want to try anything um, I definitely want to try using Alolan Sandslash. Um, try to build some strategies with setting up the snow and get some snow. Uh, sand, uh, snow rush? No. What is it called? Slush rush. Slush rush. Uh, get some slush rush going and try to get some some strats going with it. But I'm definitely going to try using more fun teams and creative stuff. But I, I just I just need to finally do it. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and I think it's I think it's about time I actually uh. You know, do it and actually, you know, follow through with it. So I'm going to be starting more of that, doing more of that on stream. Uh, we got the subathon coming up towards the end of the month. I'm doing February 23rd, I want to say is the day. Yeah, February 23rd. So it's four weeks, uh, three weeks from Friday. So it's, yeah, well, 20 days away. I'm recording this on a Saturday night. So three weeks from yesterday. Um, I'm super looking forward to the subathon. I'm doing two minutes per sub. So it's going to most likely end up being a longer subathon. Um, getting into this, you know, competitive Pokemon stuff now, trying to get into it and get used to it. I think leading up to the subathon will be good because that could probably be something I could spend a lot of time working on. Um, I'm debating on doing a tattoo during it. I have plans to get a tattoo, me and my wife. We usually like to do it for Valentine's Day. So I think we're going to try to... I'm going to try to talk to my friend and see if he'll be able to schedule like that Saturday or Sunday maybe to come over to my house and do the tattoo during the stream. I think it'd be a fun thing. It'd be, you know, a couple hours of time. Give us something different to do. and well, I think it'll be an interesting thing, uh, but we'll see. I tried, I tried planning for that the first subathon. It didn't end up working out, but we'll see if we can do it this time. Uh, what else do I got planned for it? I feel like I talked about a lot of this and I keep forgetting, but switch sports. I think I'm going to keep doing that. The golf, I still love playing that. I was just doing it the other day. Having a bunch of fun. Um, uh, man, I don't know why I'm kind of blanking on things I wanted to do, but that's what it is. Uh, I want to do my random... Pokemon information this week. Let's see. Tell me. A, uh, I'm talking to my chat. My chat GPT. Give me information on a random Pokemon. Let's see who they give me this time. It's Bulbasaur. All right. All right. It goes with some real generic Pokemon. I've noticed. Going for some real generic Pokemon. Let's talk about Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. It's grass poison type. Uh, known for the bulb on its back, grows from exposure to sunlight, can evolve to Ivysaur. Okay. Um, I don't really need to worry about the base stats, but we could go Venusaur. 
give me more information on Venusaur. See what you say. Venusaur, the final form of Bulbasaur, after evolving from a Ivysaur, stands as a formidable grass poison type in the Pokemon universe. Okay. Distinguished by the massive flower on its back, which has fully bloomed. Uh, it's known for its unique blend of power, endurance, and versatility in battles. Okay, wide range of moves, including Solar Beam. Okay. Oh, it, it says, however, Venusaur's ability, Chlorophyll, boosts its speed in sunny conditions, potentially allowing it to unleash Solar Beam without the weight. Another notable move is Sleep Powder, which can incapacitate opponents. Okay, okay. Pokemon's bulky physique contributes to its high HP and defense stats, making it a tough opponent to take down. Venusaur's role in battles often revolves around being a durable fighter that can sustain damage while de dealing significant hits back. Okay, it's grass poison typing gives it a handful of weaknesses such as fire, flying, ice, and psychic, but it provides with a range of resistances to fight effectively against water, electric, fighting, and fairy. I like it. I like it. Um, so this gives me, you know, kind of a very generic recap of Venusaur. Tell me something about Venusaur that most people wouldn't know. See what you say about that. Got anything good? Got anything good? I want to find out something interesting. Um, the one with the Gyarados was really cool. I liked it. So I, was, I really did want to keep doing this. I definitely want to take some suggestions from you guys, but I want to do a couple random just to see how this chat GPT thing works. And then I might do some, you know, manual research on Pokemon and try to go with those. All right, let's see. Uh, carries some unique traits and lore that might not be widely known. A particularly intriguing aspect is its symbiotic relationship with the flower on its back. The flower is said to bloom fully after absorbing a large amount of sunlight, which significantly strengthens Venusaur's powers. The flower's aroma can soothe people's emotions and calm aggressive feelings. Okay. Um, let's just talk more about the flower on its back. Talks about chlorophyll. Um, and talks about how it gets thick fat with the Mega Evolution. Yeah, there's not really anything interesting here. Not really anything interesting. Let me look at, let me pull up Venusaur's information. Let me look at it myself. See what we got working here. What are we working with here? Let me go to the game here so you guys can see. Most screen we can see. Um, 100 Spadef and 80 HP and 80 defense. That is decently bulky. I feel like it's highest stats only 100. 100 speed F, 100 special attack, 80 speed. Wow, it's a very well-rounded Pokemon. I mean, I always kind of like assumed that, but I never really looked at its base stat. I didn't realize base 80 speed. That's pretty fast for a nice bulky mon like that. That's not bad at all. Um, Is this like, is Bulbapedia like not working? What's going on here? All these ads, I can't even... Bullpedia, I was trying to use it the other day and it was not working good. It was really struggling. Um Yeah, okay. Um but yeah, okay, so it's base stats are pretty generic. Oh my god, Mega Venusaur gets a huge buff. Holy it goes to 120 speed F, 123 physical defense, and then 122 special attack, and then 100 attack. Holy crap. Jeez, that thing is bulky. I miss Megas. I really do. I never really like Mega Evolution was something that kind of came and went before I really like got into Pokemon again. You know, I played it growing up and I kind of got over it before uh, Mega Evolution happened. And, you know, I played Gen 7, so Megas were in that game, but it's more of a post game thing that they just kind of, you know, threw in there. Wasn't really used in the story at all. It was just post game, so I don't really think that counts. I never really mega evolved anything myself. Um, the Z moves I never used in game either. I feel like Z moves were probably the worst thing ever. And you know, the Gigantamax and Dynamax, and it was so trash. I think Terrastalizing is the best one, honestly. I don't know Mega. Like I said, I didn't really get to use it too much. I think Mega Evolution is really cool, just to like give different Pokemon another evolution, give it a second chance, you know, give it different abilities, different stats, all those things. But I also feel like terrestrialization kind of does that for it. You know, I feel like terrestrialization can make any Pokemon so much better. 
by giving it the opportunity to change its typing. I think it's a huge, huge thing. Um, that's one thing I'm excited to get into with, you know, doing this uh, competitive stuff. I want to find some unique strategies to do with the terrestrialization. Uh, terrestrialization. You know, I want to for sure use Sand Slash. Um, who, what Pokemon can learn hail? Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Dugong, Articuno, obviously Sand Slash. Uh, Cast Form, Snowrunt, Glalie, Wall Rain, Glaceon, Mamoswine, Frostlass, Vanillix. Vanillix gets Snow Warning, I believe. Baratic, Aurorus, Frostmoth, Ice Q. Okay. I was kind of hoping a random Pokemon would be able to get it. You know what I mean? I was kind of hoping someone random would be able to. Um. Oh, wait. This is... Oh, this is the old name of it. It's now... Um, what is it called now? Is it like Snowstorm? Snowscape? It's called Snowscape now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me check that. Um, Iron Bundle, Baxcalibur, and Gen Pile. Those are only different mods. I can get it. Um, none of those are really anything I'd set it up with, though. But, yeah, I'm trying to think, because obviously the best way to set up the hail is to use a Pokemon that, um, has Snow Warning. So, Alola Ninetales. Obama Snow, Vanillix, Aurorus. Those are kind of the obvious ones you'd want to use to give the double speed to the um to the Sand Slash. What Sand Slash's speed is what? 65? That is really bad. If you give him a max speed, it's still so slow. But the thing that does give it an opportunity to be decent is rapid spin. So instead of Focusing solely on the slush rush. Uh, you could run choice scarfs to obviously boost the speed, or you could try to set it up in a situation where you can rapid spin and you know take advantage of things from there. Um a couple ideas I have, you know, I definitely want to test them out. So I'm gonna be streaming or actually right after recording this, I'm gonna stream. And we're gonna try to build some teams around Alolan Sand Slash and see see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Uh we're looking forward to it. The Venusaur, man, I, I guess the Venusaur didn't get a lot of information through this chat GPT. The Gyarados one was pretty cool, so I was kind of underwhelmed with the ability to learn some stuff about Venusaur on this. Maybe I'm not asking the right questions. Um, I think next time I'm going to do one of the Pokemon you guys suggest. You guys did some in the last episode. I think I'll go through them and maybe I'll spend a little bit of time prior to, you know, recording and I'll try to get some information for it, so... Um, yeah, we're up at that. This going to be a short one. I just want to make sure I got it on. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.